आथा योगा अनुशासनम नमस्ते वेलकम टू अनरावल द थ्रेड a podcast for people who want to apply the yoga sutras to yoga practice and to life today available online at simple-yoga.org where you can also find courses articles videos and guided meditations to enrich your practice i am ruben vasquez your companion on this journey of exploration i am grateful for your comments and questions It really makes my day to know that Unravel the Thread is making a difference in your practice and in your life. This podcast presents excerpts from the book Unravel the Thread, the complete guide for living the Yoga Sutras today. If you love the podcast and want to support my work as an independent content creator, on the simple-yoga.org website, you can easily donate to keep the podcast going. On today's episode, we continue our journey with the first sutra in chapter 4 that says, Optimal function and enhanced efficiency, cities, may result from birth, herbs, mantra, purification practices, tapas, and deep integration. After dedicating a major portion of chapter 3 to the yogic practices, resulting in extraordinary attainments, CDs, Patanjali begins chapter 4 by listing five possible ways of cultivating these faculties. The first is by birth, meaning that these powers are innate, with typical examples provided by prodigious children. The commentators explain that in those cases the person's merits in previous lives come into fruition as the person is born. The second way is by using herbs. All world traditions living in harmony with nature develop a profound understanding of their environment. Consequently, each tradition learns to use what nature provides for sustenance, health, and to fulfill all their needs, including entering states that give them access to a deeper understanding of the universe. Mantra The practice of reciting a series of words is also a widespread practice in many traditional societies. They can be used for producing specific effects, such as bringing calmness to one's being, reaching heightened states of consciousness, and casting a spell. Extraordinary powers can also be obtained through intense purification practices, tapas, These types of practices are common in many traditional rituals throughout the world. The fifth way of enhancing function and efficiency is integration, samadhi. Remember that Patanjali already dedicated chapter 1 of the Yoga Sutra to samadhi. This sutra reflects Patanjali's comprehensive perspective by not claiming that only yoga can create these supernatural powers. Of course, it has already been said in Aphorism 338 that these powers can be seen as accomplishments or as obstacles. It is the practitioner who decides how to apply these powers, either to generate more ways of being, citta vritti, and entanglements, or to move towards liberation. Are you noticing changes in your ways of being and functioning? Where do these changes come from? Is your practice resulting in optimal function and enhanced efficiency? How are your practices sustaining your vital energy? How do they contribute to enhancing the quality of your participation in your life? Are you increasing your entanglement in the world or are you living in harmony within and without? As usual, one more way of exploring the meaning of this sutra is by chanting it. You can choose to chant it in its traditional form 
with some of the words coming together. Janma Oshadhi Mantra Tapas Samadhi Jaha Siddhayaha Another option is to chant each word in the sutra individually. Janma Oshadhi Mantra Tapaha Samadhi Jah Siddhaya 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 Thank you very much for listening. I hope you can join me for the next episode when we will continue our exploration with Sutra 2 in Chapter 4. If Unravel the Thread is part of your day and you feel generous, I would appreciate it if you could support my work with a donation at simple-yoga.org. Thank you. Remember that you can have your own copy of Unravel the Thread. Until next time, Namaste.